Kate, writing my vows to you is both easy and hard. Easy because I know how much you mean to me, but hard because I can't possibly put that into words. We all know that I'm not exactly a wordsmith. <laughs> so after all that we have overcome as individuals and as a couple, putting into words exactly what you mean to me might be the hardest thing I've ever done. Today is a day that is focused on our future together as husband and wife. And if this future is anything like our past, we have so much to be excited about. That's not to say that things have always been easy for us, but even through the hardest of times, it was never a matter of will we overcome our struggles together, it was a matter of when and how. And now here we are saying our vows to each other like we always knew, our, like we, always knew we would. Not a question of would we get married, just a matter of when. Just so happens the answer to that when part turned out to be 13 years into our relationship. <laughs> now yes, that's a long time, but I wouldn't do it any other way. For the past 13 years, I'm so fortunate to have had the best seat to watch you become the tenacious, genuine, and resilient person you are today. The only reason I'm going to be able to call you my wife is because you apply those attributes into everything you do, and our relationship is no exception. I've learned so much from you on our journey together and learning how to work on and put an effort into our relationship and ourselves may just be the most valuable because it means I get more time with you. I know how lucky I am. Looking at you today and knowing that you are the beautiful bride I get to marry makes it easy for me to promise just about anything in this moment. As my wife, you will always be my number one priority, the center of my universe just like you have always been. So after all it took us to get here, the ups and downs, multiple towns, cities, provinces, and even countries, several fish, a rabbit, two rats, a cat, and a dog. I hope you get the message that will always be there with you and for you through the easy and the hard, forever and always. I'm getting antsy, Kate. <laughs> Can I turn? Oh my god. Oh my god. Kate, you look fucking amazing. Oh my god, look at you. Oh my god. Kate, you look amazing. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't think we're supposed to kiss. But, you know, we're not you supposed to kiss. so nice, babe. Oh my god. You look so good. I know. Oh, wow, and your so hair? Good. You have like. You look so great, Kate. Yeah, everything. Everything looks so nice. It's amazing, right? Yeah. Erin, um, from the first day that I met you, you have brought laughter, adventure, and fun into my life. No one is able to make me laugh as hard as you do, and you have an incredible ability to get me laughing even when I'm very angry at you. <laughs> That's a gift. <laughs> you are the kindest, most resilient, and definitely the most charming man I know. You make me feel so loved and cherished, and after all these years, I still find myself having moments of awe that you chose me. I must have been a saint to another life to deserve you in this one. You have been a shining light in my life. You've been guiding me home in my dark hours and illuminating me in my triumphs. Your unwavering guidance and support has helped shape me into the person I am today. When I told you that I got into school across the world, you didn't even hesitate to tell me that it was my dreams and that of course I was going to do it. You gave me the strength and courage I needed to take that chance on myself. I could not have asked for a better partner to stand by my side, so I vow to keep learning with you, growing with you, and exploring with you. I vow to love you more deeply each day in our good times and in our hard ones. And maybe most importantly, I vow to keep making your favorite cookies until our final days. Erin, I can't wait to face this next chapter in our life as your wife. It is now 
you do be married, you may seal your vows with a kiss. <laughs> saying how important this, this, this day is for all of us. Some of us wait our entire lives until our dreams come true. And two people in this room, it finally has. Today is the first time that Scott and I will be emceeing a wedding together. And we couldn't be happier. I just don't know what we're going to do with all those gifts. Sorry, everybody. Apparently, that's not why we're all here today. I'm not excited about it. It's going to be okay. But today is special, especially for oh, Kate and Aaron. <laughs> we are so happy to be celebrating with you tonight. I know I'm Kate's brother. Uh, Aaron asked me to say a few nice words today. And uh, I know you guys all want to get eating. Uh, we don't have too much time, uh, which is good because roasting Aaron would have taken me all night. <laughs> um, there was one moment that I realized he'd really made it into the family, that he'd become my brother. Believe it or not, it was on that same fateful day, Kate's debacle on the sailboat. <laughs> After that, the boys decided it was time for us to head out. So my dad and Aaron and I Jumped on the boat, headed out into the wind and waves, which were getting a little bit higher. Uh, we made a crucial mistake, and that was putting me on the tiller. In about 10 minutes, I capsized the boat, and we all went in. <laughs> now, my dad and I were both previously lifeguards, so our instincts kicked in right away, and we saved ourselves. <laughs> we were feeling pretty pleased with that when I realized that Aaron was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> And the panic I felt that day, I knew Aaron had become my brother. <laughs> I had to bring him back to Kate or she'd kill me. Uh, who would have thought that a pair of grade 11 sweethearts would have lasted all this time? But it seems that both the easy and the hard times, and all of the curveballs of life descends and the extended separations have uh, done nothing for them but bring them closer together and even deeper in love. We were looking for inspiration for these speeches, and we were digging through Kate's keepsake box, and uh, <laughs> mostly what's in your keepsake box is things that we've put in there over the years, but we did discover that she chucked her journal in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we didn't bring a copy of it, but uh, once we saw it, you know, and Libby was with us, so we cracked it open. <laughs> so being parents, we might have left it alone, but with Libby there, there was no way. Uh, we would have to say it was uh, speech writing gold. <laughs> um, we opened this thing up and flicked through. Mostly it was uh, dance quotes and uh, things that her dance instructor wanted her to you know, be reviewing. But uh, we came across in there a, a love letter that Aaron had written to Kate in grade 11. <laughs> Say it made me slightly nauseous. <laughs> but again, in hindsight, which is 2020, it was a pretty clear sign, even back then, that this thing probably would last. Aww. Today marks a significant change in my life as well as theirs, and I think that it's important to know before we move on to them again. So I'd like to mention this really quickly. Today is the day that Kate and Aaron become Mr. and Mrs. Berkey which means that I have officially become the best-looking Strangway sister. <laughs> anyway, back to them. <laughs> I'm sure that we can all agree that today is long overdue. It's not often that a couple gets to know and love one another for 13 plus years before they both finally agree that neither one is going to do any better. <laughs> this became even more clear to me as it was 
was mentioned earlier, my parents and I snooped through her keepsake bin. <laughs> In here, we found a few questionable quotes, along with a bucket list. On Kate's bucket list was, or one of the items on Kate's bucket list, was to love someone with all her heart. I think it's pretty obvious that this item was crossed off her list long ago. September 8th, 1995, the day of my birth. <laughs> of course, after she met Aaron, I'm pretty confident it was crossed off her list once again. I should warn you though, Aaron, that uh, love someone with all her heart was not number one on the list. <laughs> it came right after Street Down the Street. <laughs> so you might want to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Now I would love for everyone to raise their glasses and join me in a toast to the bride and groom. <laughs> Alone, your spark has always burned bright. Both Aaron by your side, together you make a wildfire. Cheers to your bright and exciting life ahead. I love you both.